In this video, we'll take a look at a simple but powerful and often underutilized feature in Studio One, layer recording. Layers allow us to have multiple takes that exist on one track, which can be switched between with a single click. Let's take a look at this guitar track. I have a quick scratch riff idea that I recorded. Opening the inspector, you can see the layer section, currently labeled layer 1. Layer 1 is the default layer for every track created in Studio One. So in the case of this guitar track, rather than create a whole bunch of individual new tracks to try different ideas, we can simply create a new layer that will be sent to the same guitar amp plugin inserted on the track, in this case the excellent Scuffum Amps S-Gear. Working this way also saves us the CPU load of having multiple amp sim plugins running at once. In this case I have a middle pickup selector set up for layer 1, but I wanted to hear what just the neck pickup sounded like as well, so that's on layer 2. I can rename each layer accordingly via the rename layer option. So I'll rename layer 1 middle pickup and layer 2 neck pickup. And I went ahead and did a bridge pickup take as well, so I'll name layer 3 accordingly. So there are currently three different layers that exist on this one track. But I can only see and hear the one I have selected in the Layers tab. Let's say that I want to do a comp or a composite of all three in order to hear how they sound played in combination. This is quite easy to do in Studio One, and we can do this by right-clicking on the track and selecting Expand Layers. Now we'll see the original track, called Track 1, and that's because it's the one we have selected as our primary layer on track 1. Whichever layer is the parent layer will be the take that we hear when playing back. In order to keep things neat, I like to have the parent track lane empty. So I'll right click on either of the layers below and select add layer. And drag the audio file on the track 1 layer down. Now the parent lane is empty, so if I play the song we won't hear anything. And that's because we need to populate the parent lane with some content, which is as simple as hovering over one of the layers below, and will automatically have the pointer transform to the range selector tool. Now we can just swipe over any section or sections of any or all of these layers in order to have that exact selection populate the parent layer on track one. And now that will be the section we hear upon playback. Let's hear how they differ when played back to back. You probably noticed that my range selector tool was snapping to the grid, and that's because snap is engaged. The resolution that this will snap to is dependent on our quantize setting above. If we don't want the range selector tool to snap, we can either disengage snap, or hold down shift on Mac in order to temporarily suspend snapping for as long as shift is held. Another convenience to note, if we zoom in on this composite, you'll see that Studio One automatically adds a smooth crossfade to comped regions. This will help us avoid clicks and pops that are the result of the abrupt adjoining of two non-continuous audio events. If we quickly want to promote an entire layer to the parent layer, we can do this with one click of the Activate Layer icon, shown as an upward-facing arrow along the edge of each layer. This sort of thing is especially useful with vocal takes, where the singer's done several different takes on one track, and we want to choose the best of each take. And once we have a composite we're happy with, we can simply right-click the track again and select Expand Layers once more. This will collapse all of the secondary layers so that we only see and hear the parent layer. So if for some reason down the road we change our mind and decide that we want to have access to these other takes, they will forever reside right here in our song, out of sight and out of the way of CPU. I can't tell you how many times towards the end of a production I want to have access to another version of a vocal line or a guitar solo. By using layers in Studio One, I can make sure that all of my takes will be forever accessible with a simple click of a mouse. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next video.